a huge ambition in Europe after the Second World War was to stop politics mattering. And in some ways, the way that, that was done was to make the European Union a non-democratic institution. And the euro itself is a classic uh, non-democratic uh, institution. And finally, you get to the stage where that would only have worked at the economic program that the euro, euro, the eurozone and the euro in particular had embarked upon was going to be a successful campaign. But of course, we, I don't need to tell anybody it's failed. And the reason it's failed is because they've put, they, they didn't create a treasury. They, they limited government spending. They ignored growth in private debt, which caused the bubbles, which then crashed. So it's a total catastrophe. Now, in that situation, rather than maintaining an absence of democracy for the sake of prosperity and peace, they're maintaining an absence of democracy and enforcing poverty on people throughout Southern Europe. So it's, it's really a breaking point when they, when they simply say you can't vote for a party that wants to leave the euro. Uh, you, that's no longer a political option. There's nothing more political in that sense than poverty, but that's what's being imposed on people saying you can't choose anything other than poverty because that's the only effective program we're going to allow you to run in your economy.